Good morning. Uh, my name is Bob Sonderman. I'm the director of the National Park Service Museum Resource Center here in Landover, Maryland. Um, we are the central curatorial facility for the National Park Service National Capital Region. At this facility, we house museum collections that are not currently on exhibit at the various historic homes that we administer throughout the region. That also includes archaeological collections, um, collections from the Department of the Interior museum collections that aren't currently on exhibit at the parks, um, and various collections throughout, the, throughout this region of the country. We cover National Park Service units um, in Maryland, Virginia, West Virginia, and the District of Columbia. So that would include artifacts that are um, associated with um, the statuary on the mall, Lincoln Memorial. That includes in the District of Columbia, Ford's Theater, the house where Lincoln died, the Frederick Douglass home. Up on the other side of the river, you'd take a look at the Robert E. Lee home up overlooking the city of Washington. That comes under our jurisdiction. The Claire Barton home. So we have a number of historic homes, archeological sites, and historic uh, sites associated with the events and time um, associated with the settlement um, of this part of the country. In addition to the uh, historic furnishings that we have, we also have things associated with uh, the monumental architecture on the mall. Um, we have um, right here are the, the uh, m fiberglass mock-ups of the Korean War Memorial soldiers. And if you've visited the Korean War Memorials, you'll see this same group of soldiers uh, marching through um, a f what is you know, in, the, in the memorial, a field of battle. And these guys are in, on a patrol. And these are the, the original mock-ups. And if, you, if you're in here at night, it, they can be kind of creepy. <laughs> they're, they're sort of uh, melancholy. Uh, their features are all very melancholy. So it's kind of, um, it's kind of a sad thing if you're in here and, and it's dark and you come out here on the main floor and you see these guys. Um, some of us actually think they move periodically. Um, but they, uh, they evoke a period um, and... Um, in America's efforts during the Korean War. Um, in addition to the Korean War Memorial material, we also have the original plaster casts for the three soldiers at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. Um, some of you visited there, you may recognize that there are three American soldiers associated with an American flag, which was an addition to the original Maya Lin design of the great V at the wall. Um, those three soldiers, we have the original plaster casts here. So in case, um, and in the unfortunate event that somebody may vandalize or, or uh, damage one of the soldiers, th that section could be recast um, from the original molds that we hold here at the facility. There's a drone from Antietam. September 1862. Ooh, fun stuff. Um, this was a, um, a cartridge case. Locally. Um, wow. This is a piece of what is called canister um, from um, Antietam. It was probably found in an archaeological context. Okay. One of our most active collections um, is the material that's left at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. It's an astounding collection. It's a living um, collection of, of uh, museum objects that are left at the wall by visitors. And um, it's the only place um, on the mall where we actually collect objects associated with a memorial. Um, we don't collect at the World War II Memorial, we don't collect at the Korean War Memorial, but a decision was made about 15 years ago to collect the objects that are left at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. And behind me, you see hundreds and hundreds of boxes of material of objects that were left at the wall. We process and catalog those objects. We do not curate objects that are perishable like flowers, but we have a very clear um, collection, um, scope of collection statement on the types of objects that we would, that we recover from the wall. This is the processing room for the objects that are left at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. Um, what these folks are doing, they're all employees. Um, they're all, they are processing, cataloging, identifying, sorting, um, all the things required of um, a collection at the with the National Park Service. Um, this material is the material that's left at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. Um, Laura here is cataloging. Um, we, use a, we use a standard paper form and then it gets data entered into the database. Um, so what she's doing is she's describing um, a particular object um, that was left at the wall. This particular object is a, um, a motorcycle um, that was left at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. Um, it was left by a group of um, Vietnam veterans from Wisconsin. Um, to honor fallen colleagues from the Vietnam conflict. It's a beautiful thing. And as, as you take a look at it, it has been decorated with um, um, artistic motifs and um, that 
evoke a feeling of the Vietnam, of the, of the Vietnam War. Um, these veterans um, left this bike um, about 15 years ago. 